Hi again, everybody. It's time for Grant's Rant. Grant's Rant is brought to you by New Works Plumbing of Sacramento. Locally owned for over 20 years, New Works has a fix for you. Just call the number on your screen or go to sacserviceplumbing.com. That's New Works Plumbing. They've got a fix for you. Well, you can't live and die with the final possession and come out on top every single night. That has been the situation for the Kings in the last week. If you remember on the second night of a home at home, home at home, meaning two home games for Sacramento, the back-to-back with Denver, the Kings won by a point. Two nights later, they won by one point against the Jazz. Then they lose at Memphis. They go to Utah, final possession. De'Aaron Fox wins the game, 117 to 115. And then last night, one possession game. Fox turns the ball over after Sabonis had missed two free throws, and the Kings end up losing 120 to 117. It's not a great recipe for success. It's not the end of the world. The Kings weren't eliminated from the playoffs. But think about last night for a moment. The Kings had gone 25 of 25 from the line. They're up by one in the final minute. And Sabonis misses both free throws. That proved to be costly. And then the turnover by Fox, by Murray. And uh, that's all she wrote. But again, three games over 500. And I said before this homestand began, Worst case scenario, four and one. I mean, let's just call it the way it is, okay? You lost to Charlotte coming off the last road trip. They had played horribly. They were the worst team in the East. They still are record-wise. Then you lose to Washington. Last night, you had a Hawks team that had lost seven of 10, four in a row, but you got the A version of the Hawks. You know, they're not going to go over on this road trip, and they were resting, waiting for you while you played in Salt Lake City against the Jazz. It's part of the equation. This coming weekend, Saturday night, the Lakers are coming off the back-to-back the night before they play Atlanta. It's part of being in the NBA. But the Kings shouldn't lose to the Lakers. They shouldn't lose to Orlando. And they should beat the Rockets twice. Again, 4-1 and one on this homestand. Anything less than that, in my opinion, it's not a good homestand. Plain and simple. Not a good homestand if you don't win the remaining four games. And that is my rant for today. Hope you have a fabulous day. And thank you so much for watching Grant's Rant. And don't forget, tomorrow at 3 o'clock Pacific, Sean Salisbury will join me. We'll talk NFL. We'll talk college football. That's all tomorrow at 3 o'clock right here on If You Don't Like That. So long, everybody.